Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making a fall harvest gift basket. Let's take a look at some of the things we'll be putting into this harvest gift basket. This basket is going to contain apple juice, apple twists, cinnamon apple chips, cinnamon apple cereal bars, spiced cider drink mix, and a cup to go with it, caramel apple taffy, apple bar cookies, cinnamon flavored candy. These items are just an idea of things you can include in a fall themed basket, but you can also do a non-food basket. And that would include something like cinnamon potpourri or apple scented potpourri, candles, um, you could put in teacups if you want, but just think fall theme, fall harvest. And so this is just an idea, but you can include anything you want in your basket. I was able to find a fall theme ribbon um, and it's a wire edge ribbon, which I love to use because you can manipulate it when you're doing your ribbon. I am going to do a double bow on this basket. Um, and so this is nine feet of ribbon. So let me just pull some of that out so you can really see what it looks like. I will also be using another wire edge orange colored ribbon. It's somewhat sheer and so that will be a part of this bow for the basket. I'll also be using this thinner gold ribbon to tie both of my ribbons together. I'm also going to use these fall colored leaves to decorate the inside of my basket. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it on the outside yet, but I'm definitely going to use it inside and that'll add some pizzazz. These actual leaves just kind of pop off of the top so I can put these inside the basket to, for decoration. I also have some flowers that reminded me of fall, so I thought these would be nice to use in the basket. I'm going to use these on the inside and the outside of the basket. What would a fall basket be without scarecrows? So I'm going to use this on the outside of the basket for decoration. Let's get started. Many of you have asked in the previous videos where I get my baskets from. I usually shop for my baskets year round at some of the thrift stores or even at Goodwill. You'll always find a basket section in there and a lot of the baskets are like used one time and they're in close to new condition. So when I'm looking for my basket, I check the handle to make sure that it's sturdy and I also check the bottom to make sure that that's sturdy where the items won't fall out. So this was actually a newer basket and I got this at the thrift shop for $2. And so I've got some decorative tissue that I'm going to put in the bottom of the basket and this is just to give the items more height. You can actually use any color tissue in the bottom because this won't be showing because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up with my shred.
So now I've got my shred assembled the way I want and you can't see the decorative tissue underneath it. I can start to put in my items. I'm going to start with my heavier items, which is the two bottles of apple juice. I'm going to put these on the sides, and I may have to readjust once I assess how it's going. So sometimes you may come up with an idea that looks good, and then you have to just be flexible and readjust it. Now that I've got the basket assembled the way I want it, I'm going to start adding in my flowers and leaves. I'm just looking for pockets of empty spaces where I can just put my leaves in and my flowers. I think one will be nice there and just assemble them throughout. I'll put one right here in the cup. side I might put one right through here actually using the basket and just putting one right here on the basket there's a cute little hole in the basket right here I'm just going to take this and gently tuck it in there that I have my leaves and flowers all assembled throughout the basket the way I want. Now it's time to wrap it up. I'm using the clear cellophane to wrap it up with. And I'm gonna roll out enough so I can wrap up this basket. And this is a medium sized basket. So I just wanna make sure I have enough to come over the top. Going to center my basket right in the middle here. I'm having enough cellophane come over the top. And for me, that's not enough. I like to have a little bit more. So I try to use almost the whole roll of cellophane. comes up over the top and that's good for me because I can always cut it down if it's too long and then I take the back end here and now I'm going to 
line this up so it's even and I'm going to just cut away right at the top here. Be careful as you're cutting. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can always cut it down a little bit more and even it up. start gathering it over the handle. You want to be careful with cellophane because it can rip pretty easily. I'm just gathering the cellophane over the top of the handle and just be careful as you're pulling on it so that it's tight enough because the cellophane can rip pretty easily. I'm taking my thin ribbon, which I'm also going to use to attach the larger ribbon, and I'm going to tie the cellophane over the basket. And don't worry about what it looks like on top right now. We could always go back and fix that up. I've got these two sides sticking out now. So now I need to take these sides and tuck them underneath the basket. And I'm going to use this packing tape to do it with and it's a clear packing tape so it won't can't be seen. So I'm just going to cut a small amount off to tuck this first side under and then we'll do the other side. What I'm going to do is make sure that the basket is closed up so I just kind of tuck that one part in and one part over and I pull this tightly underneath. And then I take this, the tape, and I just tuck it right under, like that. That's it. Once again, I'm going to do the other side now, and I'm just going to tuck that under. And I like to pull this over to the edge because it gives me a little bit more leverage. Once I have it like close to the edge, just tape it right under. Now that I've got both sides tucked under, now I can go back and neaten up this top area here. It's too uneven. And so I'm going to cut it so that it fans out. And so when I'm fanning this out, I'm just going to make a cut going up in this direction and another cut going down on the opposite side. And now it's going to fan out and have these kind of jagged edges. And you can cut it down even more once I finish putting it together, I'll be able to tell whether I want to cut this down even more, and I think I am going to do that. Okay, so now the bows are finished. Uh, they're ready to be attached to the basket. As you can see, I used opposites. I used my pattern bow with the leaves in the front on one bow, and then on the other one, I used it in the back. So you can create 
whatever you want. So let's go ahead and attach our bows. So what I'm going to do is attach one of the bows to the front and I'm going to attach the other bow to the back. So from either side you have no idea which is the front of the basket or the back because it looks good from either angle. I'm going to take the same ribbon that I attached this bow with. I'm using that same ribbon to attach the other bow to the other side. So I'm just gently placing it right here. I'm bringing this part of the bow, this, the thin ribbon, under the bottom. And I'm going to take the other part of the ribbon and I'm going to bring that across the top and I'm going to tie it. So I'm using the same ribbon to tie all the bows onto the basket. And I could always go back, I neaten up my bows and I'm also going to double knot this bow onto the front and I could always cut this away. So right now I'm just neatening up my ribbon I'm going to cut a little bit more off the top here because I have another decoration that I want to add. To me that was just a little bit high, too high. I need to be lower. And it fans out like that. Now I've got all of these parts of the, the ribbon that I used for the bow. And I can either cut some of them off, which I'm just going to cut them down a little bit. Like this one is way too long, but it's better to have them long and then go shorter than to have them too short. There's another one, just cut it down. Another one there. And then what I'm going to do is take my scissor and curl it. For my final added touch, remember I have the two scarecrows, I'm going to stick these down into the center of the basket. So right in the middle of the cellophane, you're just going to look for the opening. You could actually see right in the center. And you just kind of push this down to see where it goes in. And there I got an opening. All right, And then I'm going to take the other one and push that one down as well. Just kind of be gentle and patient because until you find an opening. Alright, there it is. And so that just has another added touch. your basket and that is the fall harvest basket let's go ahead and give it a spin so you can see what it looks like from all angles
colors on the inside as well as the outside blend in. Caramel apple taffy. That's what I meant to say. It's a tongue twister. Try saying that five times. <laughs>